Hi, my brothers and sisters in Christ. It's your sister, Keish Kim. I am here with another minute motivation. Hopefully, this will be less than five minutes. I am at home. <laughs> that is my dryer. I'm so embarrassed. Anyway, I'm on my way to work right now. But something that uh, the Lord literally has been impressing upon my heart and speaking to my heart is check the fruit check the fruit do you follow God your fruit should actually display that you're following God right so what do I mean by check the fruit so a an apple tree can only bear apples right a lemon tree can only bear lemons uh, you get the point an apple tree cannot make lemons and a lemon tree cannot make apples so if someone is saying that they are Christian, then their fruit should actually resemble Christ. This is a word of conviction, not condemnation. And you can tell I got a little bit convicted when I just said that. But all jokes aside, I literally had to uh, reevaluate some of the people that I've been following on social media lately. I have not been on social media active for uh, quite some time. I will make a post and then I don't check it for like a week. And then before that, I was off for like three months. But if you have naked and you're, potent, you're posting scriptures, check the fruit. I know we've all been there and we've probably done that. I know I, I wasn't quoting no scriptures, but I was posting some pictures. Uh, thirst traps is what you might want to say when you're feeling yourself, you're going to the club. Thank God God has delivered me from that. And I'm not trying to be judgmental, but if you want to call it that, then go ahead and call it it. It's a righteous judgment. If we are Christians, our lives should be a reflection of who we say we believe. And I don't always get it right. There are people who are being used by the enemy who know how to push my buttons and cause me to get out of character. And... Thank God that I know God because I would lay some hands and I'm not talking about healing hands. And thank God that the law exists. But most importantly, I love Jesus. And although I'm not going to be a doormat, I'm not going to do what my flesh wants me to do because I am a representative, an ambassador of Christ. So when you want to know if someone is really a Christian, don't just listen to their words. Look at their lifestyle. Is it a reflection of Christ? Do they worship idols? Some idols are not so subtle. Check out the community playlist. Do we worship idols? The subtle ones, social media, our appearance. Our job, money, power, success. My brothers and sisters in Christ, check the fruit. John 15, God is a vine and God the Father, sorry, Jesus is a vine and God the Father prunes his children to make us better. But if we don't belong to him, we're going to look like the world. We're going to look like Satan. And if we belong to him, he's going to allow us to go through some storms of life. That video that I shared earlier in order to test our faith. Do we really believe in him? Are we really an ambassador of Christ? Because we can't say we have faith, right? We have to actually show that we have faith. I'm going off on a tangent. I got to get ready to go to work, but I just want to say, check the fruit, check the fruit. Okay. Until next time, God bless you in the name of Jesus.